more diplomats, including Russia's ambassador to the Philippines, met with incoming President Bongbong Marcos today. Marlene Alcaide is reporting to us live from Mandaluyong City for the details. Hi Marlene, what were the highlights of that meeting? Russia's commitment to helping out the Philippines with its oil and energy requirement was one of the highlights today. Of course, um, this is uh, timely considering the uh, consecutive oil price hikes that we've been having. All this came on the back of Russian Ambassador to the Philippines, Marat Pavo's courtesy visit to Marcus Jr. this morning. He said oil and gas were among the topics they discussed. Pavlov says Moscow is ready to cooperate and extend help to the Philippines to satisfy its need on gas, oil, and other energy sources. Russia is one of the largest exporters of petroleum products in the world. But several countries have issued a ban on Russia oil imports after its invasion of Ukraine early this year. This triggered a surge in oil and gas prices and in turn also hiked up prices of basic commodities. Pavlov said that while Moscow made a commitment Commitment to the Philippines on oil, the Russia-Ukraine war was only briefly discussed. This gave him the impression that Marcus Jr. wants to keep an independent foreign policy. Recall that during his campaign, Marcus said that the country should remain neutral on the issue. Sean ambassadors from Egypt, Israel, and Denmark have also arrived to meet with Marcos. Among the topics discussed uh, were sustainable energy and climate change. The Egyptian ambassador also invited Marcos to the UN Climate Change Conference in Egypt this November. Sean? Thank you so much for those updates. Marlene Alcaide of News 5 reporting to us live from the Marcos headquarters in Mandaluyong City.